Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool paint textured effect in Illustrator CC. So you can see here, what I've done is I've had a font, and I pretty much turned it into like shapes, and I've added this paint effect, which I downloaded from Freepik, and I'll show you where to get that. And I've added that in, and it makes this nice shape and form, and it just looks really cool, and it adds that extra dimension, like you feel that it's like that paint um, on the wall falling down and splattered. First up, I'm going to press T for the type tool and type in paint and you know we can choose a, a, a nice font maybe you want to get like a I'll stick with the sans serif font and maybe you want a thick one maybe Azo. Azo looks pretty cool there yeah why not we'll just use this font for now what you want to do is you want to go to free pick which you can get free graphics on as well and what you can type you can type paint and you can also type um, paint drip as well. So if you can't find the drip one, it's only got stains, then you want to type in paint drip. And you can download one of these ones. You can download this one or this one. That's a premium one. So you can download, just look at the right one you want and just pick one that looks really cool and, and looks, it looks fun. So once you've downloaded that, you can see I have it here. I selected this purple one. You can select any of these, doesn't really matter. But I'll just select this black one for now. I'll press Control C and paste it into my this file here. I want to scale the paint up, right? And what I want to do now is go to my Pathfinder tool and I want to click Unite because I don't want any shadows or any of these gradient stuff. I just want a flat shape. And you can see I've changed the color to black, but it's not working. So I have to go to my blending modes and change it from screen to normal so it can be the way I want it. I'm just going to select this black color here. So now we have this paint, what I want to do is drag it up and I'm going to align it directly to the font there. And I want to make it pretty much as close as possible. It doesn't matter if it's like not 100%. You can see my smart guides are on as well, it helps a bit. So cool, we have this snapped. I'm probably going to bring this up. I want to make it a bit um, shorter on this end so you can see you can see the top part of this is a bit too long so I want to make it shorter like this I'll drag this up and you can see here I've got it directly on the font there but I can just drag it a bit more up like that and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on my my font there press I'll go to my type and I'll click on create outlines so now this is a shape because we want to plus everything together so what I'm going to do now is select everything and what I can do is go to my Pathfinder tool and press Unite again. So I've clicked that and now this paint thing is just literally one shape. You can see it's one shape there. And that's super awesome. And if I want to customize the font, maybe I want to make it different, I'll select it all. I'll press Shift M for the Shape Builder tool. So now you can see this tool starts to recognize all these shapes that are inside this one shape. So I can left click and drag and plus those together and you can see it adds those shapes to the overall, to the overall shape. And even the P, I can do that on the P as well. So now I have this paint effect here which is super awesome, super cool. I'm going to go to my texture pack here which I have and I can literally drag any of these ones. Maybe I want this painted wall. I'm going to drag and drop it. This is a, a TIFF file. It means I can scale it up really good and it's a bitmap and I can literally change the color in Illustrator. So just left click on the color there and it's a bit harsh so I might just bring it down a bit. I'll make a clipping mask as well. And now we have this cool paint effect with a bit of texture and that looks boss. That looks super cool and that's how we do this cool paint drip effect. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hit that like button and leave a comment below if you like these type of tutorials. It really helps me out. It helps the video get seen. And remember to subscribe for more awesome design content every week. I love teaching about branding, design, and brand strategy stuff. So if you're interested in that, then definitely subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy.